my background allows me to be able to understand that and come up with solutions that are relevant for food service operators. Um, I've been in those shoes for many, many years. I understand what it takes from a labor perspective, from an inventory perspective, from menu development, food costs, so on and so on. So over the last couple years, we've been dealing with the pandemic. Now we're in that post-pandemic era. And coming out of the pandemic, one of the things that we took a hard look at within food services, how can we help operators? Lots of distributors and manufacturers are saying, how can we help operators? One of the things how we look to say, how can we be a value to a food service operator is to give them a value. And what this presentation is gonna talk about is value proposition. How to take an inexpensive product and elevate it and be able to offer it at a premium price. Being able to take a basic chicken noodle soup where you can sell for $350 or $450 for a cup, but a few minor tweaks in the back of the house, you can then elevate that to actually add a premium on to get nine, 10, or even $11 for the same exact dish because it's about the perception. And one of the things that we'll look at within Campbell's Food Service is trends and insights how to make recipes that are gonna be relevant for you. One of the recipes I'm gonna show you today is based off of spice. Spicy is really, really trending high. You go to the supermarket, what do you see when you go down the snack aisle? Ghost pepper, habanero, jalapeno. You go and, and you see the now in the sauces. It's all about spice and heat. So I'm gonna showcase for you today a Nashville hot chicken noodle soup. Before I get into that, I wanna take it back to that value proposition. Chicken noodle soup is one of our most inexpensive uh, skews in our portfolio. It's tried and true, and it's the ultimate comfort food. But how can you elevate it? Elevating it through that spice application, which I'm gonna take you through right now. And I'm gonna make a Nashville hot chicken noodle soup. For those who don't know what Nashville hot is, it started in Nashville, Tennessee, and what it encompasses is sweet and heat. So there's cayenne, there's paprika, there's chili powder, garlic powder, black pepper, but more importantly, brown sugar. The brown sugar is gonna help combat or balance out that heat, because when you get that sweetness, that heat receptor actually turns off a little bit or cools it down for you. So it's gonna be enjoyable where it's sweet and spicy. So I got a pan that's nice and hot right here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of red bell peppers to this, just to get a little bit of flavor, because the red bell peppers has that sweetness that's gonna actually enhance the soup a little bit more. I already have the spices already pre-mixed, cayenne, paprika, chili powder, garlic, and black pepper. I would say the key to this one is once the peppers are nice and starting to wilt a little bit, add the spices to it because you want to toast those spices so it actually blooms the oils along with these spices is going to really help complement this soup. I'm going to add just a little bit more oil because I want to really bloom these spices that are in here. Get it nice and toasted. I don't know if you can see into the pot, but everything is coming together really nice. The spices is nicely coating on the uh, red peppers. I'm gonna add the brown sugar to this now. Break that up just a little bit. And here's the best part. You can take this, the pouch soup, or our tub soup. I'm just gonna open up the pouch, pour it right on in, and just bring this back to a boil. It's literally that easy where you're taking a tried and true classic soup or an iconic soup, but you've now turned it into something that's trend worthy and it's very rooted in spice. Let this come back up to a boil. And then we're gonna have some fun on how we garnish out this soup 
and that's where we're gonna talk about that value proposition when I do the, the presentation for you. So I'm gonna let this come to a boil, but now I'm gonna talk about another application that's rooted in, in value proposition. You've heard a lot of the, the, the presentations today and a lot of the show is centered on versatility. How do you utilize one SKU across many different platforms? You can also do that with suit. Nashville Hot is a perfect example. The second example I'd like to show you is how we can turn, this is actually our newest line extension or innovation from fruit service. It's an aged white cheddar and cauliflower. Similar, same as the chicken noodle, four pound pouch. Four of these come in a case. This one here is really unique. It's in our reserve line. It's a cauliflower soup that has cauliflower particulates to it. A cauliflower puree is actually making up the majority of the volume of this soup. We're, we're top noting it with aged white cheddar from Wisconsin. And then at the very back end, we're putting a parm cheese in there. And what the parm cheese does is it helps to elevate that aged white cheddar. It gives you the lactic notes that you're looking for when you're having aged cheese and it lingers in your mouth to make bite after bite after bite where it's not, I'm tasting it the first bite and then it goes off like this. When we were developing the soup, we wanted to actually do it reverse. We wanted to keep building and having that cheese impact was very important. Broccoli cheddar is the number one soup that is across the United States. Not tomato, not chicken noodle, broccoli cheddar. When we saw that, we were like, hmm, let's take the cousin to broccoli and do the same thing with cauliflower. Because again, insights tell us cauliflower is still trending and white cheddar is trending. But if you were to add an aged white cauliflower or an aged white cheddar to your menu, as opposed to regular cheddar, you can actually get a dollar more just in a, in a hamburger alone, plain cheddar versus aged white, it symbolizes it's a premium. So we wanted, to, we wanted to incentivize the soup and bring it to an elevated level. So I'm gonna show you a great recipe, and this is one of many recipes that we have on our food service website. So I'm gonna turn this into an aged white cheddar cauliflower Alfredo. And I'm gonna use some really common pantry ingredients. I'm gonna start with a little bit of onions that I already pre-cooked into a pan. Make sure this is on. Yep, it's getting hot. And when this starts to sizzle, I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to this. But I'm gonna come back and give a stir to the Nashville hot. And if you saw the color of the chicken noodle soup, it was yellow to golden. Now you have a really deep, beautiful red chicken noodle soup. Give this a quick taste. While I'm cooking with the, um, the cauliflower Alfredo, I just wanna talk a little bit more about how you can do some more value proposition around the chicken noodle. Keeping into that spicy theme, you can turn the chicken noodle into a Thai red curry chicken noodle by adding a little bit of coconut milk to the chicken noodle soup and a couple tablespoons of Thai red curry. Or another great condiment that's coming out of Korea, kochijan, is really taking the US by storm. Adding some kochijan to the chicken noodle soup turns it into a spicy but also sweet chicken noodle soup. So then you have Thai, you have Nashville, and you have a Korean. So those are three soups based off of one skew. So I got the onions going, I'm coming back over to this one now. The onions are going. I'm gonna add just a little bit of garlic to this. Let the garlic brown in the pan. I'm gonna add everyone's favorite, or mostly everyone's favorite, a little bit of diced bacon to this. going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. The sun-dried tomatoes give it a nice little acidity, nice little tartness to this to help cut through some of that rich cheese. 
I'm also going to add just a little bit of parsley to this. What I love about this is, again, it's common pantry ingredients, but really reimagining them. And again, this is still on trend because this dish that I'm going to show you right here can fit into so many different segments. It can fit into K through 12. It can fit into college and universities. It can fit into healthcare. It could also fit into chain accounts as well. So as I got this going, I'm going to add the soup that's already in the pouch that I already have pre-measured out. Just let this all come together now. I'm just going to put a pinch of black pepper in this. I don't need to add any salt to this because I already, the soup is already seasoned enough and I got parm cheese in here which has some sodium in it and we have the sun-dried tomatoes in here as well. Give this a taste. That is good. Just a touch more black pepper, turn this down. I'm gonna add a little bit of cauliflower to this to help bulk it up. And you could also imagine this as a complete vegetarian dish if you omit the, the uh, bacon to this. And this, the cauliflower acts, can act as that meat element to a pasta dish. So I'm just gonna take some cooked cavatappi pasta. It could be penne, it could be rigatoni, fettuccine, that choice is solely up to you. Now I'm just going to bring this all together. Bright, colorful. There we go. Just add a little bit of parm to this. And I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of parm as well. So while this is cooking up a little bit, I'm gonna reverse and go back to the Nashville hot, and I'm gonna finish that plating for you. Just turn this down a little bit. There we go. The soup is nice and hot. I'm just going to ladle in some of this chicken noodle soup. You know, about 10, 15 years ago, you would have just had chicken noodle soup as chicken noodle soup. Now you can do so many things with it. Wipe off the side right here. Put this here. Turn that off now. Have a little bit of fun with it. Going to take some popcorn chicken that I have already pre-cooked. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss it in a little bit of Nashville hot sauce. And this is the fun part of the dish. It's going to really complicate, uh, complement it, but also really drive home that value proposition when we talked about how to take soup and push it to the center of the plate. I have a skewer here with a little bit of dill pickles because traditional Nashville hot, you would have dill pickles with it. Just put the skewers on. And then, oh, that one broke and then just put that right over top like that. And what's unique about it is, you would not imagine chicken noodle soup to be like this, where you can actually pick this up and it's a meal within a meal. Taking soup, that is usually a starter, and actually this would be great as an entree or a great lunch item for your menu, because it's quick and easy. So that is the Nashville hot.
Now I'll come back over and I'll finish out this Alfredo. Everything in here is nicely mixed together. And we have both of these over at the Campbell's booth, which is number 27. So you can sample both the cauliflower Alfredo and the Nashville hot chicken noodle soup. Yeah. Just toss it, top it with a little bit of parm. And there you go. Two very quick and easy applications that are on trend and relevant in a lot of different segments across um, food service operations. There you have it. If you want any more, if you want recipes, please visit the uh, www.campbellsfoodservice.com website. If you don't do food service, it's gonna direct you to retail. And if you want these recipes, it's gotta be food service. All right, so thank you guys very much. It was a pleasure to be here with you.